Hi there gamers, welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm going to explain when you should update your video driver and in which situations changing the driver may have impact on the performance or the stability of your system. I will share with you my experience and knowledge gained as a result of extensive testing and comparison of hundreds of drivers by answering some of the most frequently asked questions from the comments of my videos on this channel. So without further ado, let's explore whether you should change your video driver or not. They say I should always update my video driver. Is the new driver always the best one? Updating to the latest driver is a very common advice you will encounter in many blog posts and videos. I will answer this question later in this video, but before that let me show you more specific reasons for changing the driver or keeping the current one. I have stuttering issues since the latest few updates. Which driver is best for me? Although it may appear that the video driver is the clear source of the issue, sometimes the problem is elsewhere. Of course, if the stuttering appeared just after the driver update, something is wrong with that new driver or something has happened during the installation. But if you notice that stuttering at some random moment and changing the driver didn't solve the problem, there are many other things you can check. The list is long and I will mention only a few of them. It can be a game update that introduced the bugs. It can be a background process of an application that you have recently installed. You should check the CPU and the GPU for overheating, especially if you are using a laptop. Insufficient RAM or failing storage drive can also cause stuttering. Sometimes game developers introduce new graphics effects and settings that can suddenly change the performance and the experience you are used to. In many cases I have solved stuttering issues by clearing the DirectX shader cache after reinstalling the driver. I have a video about this process if you want to check it out. What is the best driver for MX150? When you're using a laptop specifically with a low performance video card, you should update the driver only if you have stability issues and you are certain that your current driver is the problem or if the games you are playing require a newer video driver version. If the system is stable with the current driver, do not change it. When the GPU is the certain performance limitation, a driver update cannot change that and bring noticeable performance improvement. What is the best driver for 1050 Ti? The situation here is very similar. If you have a low performance desktop video card, the priority here is to have a stable system. There is no reason to change the driver unless the games you are playing require a specific version. You are probably playing at 1080p resolution or even lower and if you also have a low performing CPU, the performance bottleneck coming from it prevents any possible performance benefit you could get from changing the driver. I am getting huge FPS drops, what is the best driver for me? The situation is very similar to the first question with the stuttering issues. If the driver is not corrupted or too old, it cannot be the reason for significant performance decrease and updating it will not solve the problem. A regular driver update rarely brings more than 10% performance difference, plus or minus. It could be a game issue or there is a hardware problem. So if your average FPS in Fortnite was 500 and now it is 300 on the same game version, map and area, it is not a driver issue for sure. Significant average FPS drops usually come from a heavy CPU bottleneck or from an overheating CPU. And if the FPS drop always happens at specific area or moment in the game, it is most probably a broken or badly optimized area in the game or a badly optimized game overall. I have artifacts or broken textures in my game, should I update the driver? There are two cases here. Do you see this problem only in specific areas in one game? In this case, it is probably a bug in the game and changing the driver will not help unless it specifically targets compatibility issues with that particular game. If you get artifacts in more than one game, changing the driver will help you only if your current driver has been corrupted somehow or you have a very new GPO model and the earlier drivers have issues. Otherwise, having graphics artifacts can be caused by GPU or CPU hardware issues, including overheating or as a result of overclocking or corrupted system files. I have RTX 4080. What driver should I use for less input lag in Fortnite? 
This is a very frequently asked question that comes from a wrong understanding of the input lag. The video driver has negligible impact on the input lag and it varies depending on the game and the system configuration. There are other much more important factors that play crucial role for reducing the input lag, such as the monitor refresh rate, CPU and GPU, mouse and keyboard, internet connection and many others. From a good video driver you should expect mainly stability and a minor improvement in performance, nothing else. If you want to optimize your input lag, use a high refresh rate gaming monitor and pick a professional gaming keyboard and mouse. You also need a very good internet connection and make sure you are less CPU bottlenecked. If you are concerned about the input lag, you probably play competitive games at lower resolution, which on the other side is a very CPU demanding case and the bottleneck has great impact on performance. Does the driver matter in case of a GPU bottleneck? Yes and no. It depends on the game and the degree of the GPU bottleneck. If your GPU is heavily underperforming, the driver will not bring any performance difference. In other cases, a better driver can bring up to 5% increase in performance and in rare cases up to 10%. Unless it was specifically released to solve a performance issue or to optimize the behavior of specific technologies your favorite game may use. Does the driver matter in case of CPU bottleneck? Again, yes and no. When an overpowered GPU is paired with a heavily underperforming CPU, especially if you're playing CPU demanding games such as Valorant or Fortnite in performance mode, the video driver cannot bring any noticeable improvement, because in this case the GPU has minor impact on the overall performance. The higher the GPU load, the higher is the chance to get more FPS from a better driver. Should I use Display Driver Uninstaller to reinstall or update my video driver? For NVIDIA drivers, no. I have reinstalled video drivers more than 1000 times and I have encountered various driver issues, but I haven't had even a single case when I had to use a third party application to solve those issues or to make a clean driver installation. According to my experience, the official NVIDIA clean install option works fine and there is no stability or performance benefit from using other apps. I don't have much experience with AMD drivers so the case may be different there. Do I have to update the driver if I have a recently released GPU model? In many cases, the first few drivers after a GPU release may bring performance improvements or target specific bugs and issues, and this is usually specified in the driver's release notes. With that exception, you should change the driver only if you have issues or if you know that the new driver will work better. Do I have to update the driver if I have an old GPU? The newer drivers rarely include changes that specifically target video cards from old generations, unless they target technologies that those old GPUs already support, for example ray tracing or DLSS. But there is another factor here, games are evolving, they are becoming more demanding, more technologies and effects are being added and a newer driver may be better optimized for this case. It very much depends on the game and the graphics settings. Is the new driver always the best one? At the beginning of this video I promised to answer that question. Unfortunately, no. While the new driver may bring specific improvements or may solve specific problems, in many other cases it can also break things. And this is probably inevitable with so many different games, game engines and evolving graphics technologies. So in conclusion when you should update or change the driver? Try another version only if you have stability or performance issues, presumably caused by your current driver, or if you know that this another version will improve the performance of your system. In any case, do not rush to update the driver every time a new version comes out. I hope this video was helpful to you and deserved a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming hardware related videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.